I'm trying this on Tuesday when I go to the gym because you gonna say all that. I'm gonna put it to the ultimate test and I will let y'all know if it's true or not. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have a haul, you know from the title, it is a hodgepodge of stuff. We got some stuff from the cosmetics company store. Y'all know I get excited when I find stuff there and I hit the jackpot this time. I also have a couple things from Pat McGrath because they had their 40% off sale, which I could not pass up. And then I also have some stuff from Ulta that I'm going to share at the end. So I'm pretty excited to get into this haul. Before I do, if you're new, I would love for you to join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I film a lot of hauls, a lot of hauls, a lot of makeup, hair, nails, and a little bit of fitness, pretty much everything related to beauty. So if you're into that, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you waiting. If you want to see what I've picked up in my most recent haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So before we jump into it, y'all ask me about my lip colors a lot. Today I went a little bolder to try to match this eye look. I finally decided to try my Nomad Cosmetics Hudson Valley palette and this is the look that I came up with. I went into that red eyeshadow. I used two of the shimmer shades on my lid and then kind of went in with the purple and the brown. So I stayed on the warmer side. I didn't do the greens. Y'all, that palette is so good. That is the first time I've used a Nomad palette. So that set the bar high for me. I cannot wait to try more of their stuff. I've had stuff in my cart for a while. So now I know I might as well go ahead and pull the trigger. But for my lips, I went and pulled it just to make sure. So two lip liners. I have the Juvia's Place Luxe Lip Lux liner in brownie. This is the darker shade if you can see it around the edges, but I felt like it was too brown to go with what we had going on with the eyes. So I went in with the Milani understatement lip liner in Sienna style. Yeah, shade number 190. This one is a little more red, which helped kind of blend with the lip color. And then the lip color I have on, I actually have on this Rare Beauty which one is this? Joy, which is the kind of orange one. And I thought that would be perfect because of my eyeshadow. And then I topped it off with this Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Fantasy Gloss Balm. Just because I liked the shimmers in that. And again, it also kind of has that red orange vibe going. So that's what's on the lips. And I think it paired perfectly with this eyeshadow look. So got that out the way. Let's jump into the makeup. First thing I'm going to share, I actually picked this up from Marshalls, but it's the only thing I have from Marshalls, so we're just going to throw it in there real quick. I picked up this Fix Plus Lavender. I have not had a Fix Plus in a minute, and I used to think when I had oily skin that Fix Plus was going to set my makeup. It did not. I'm too oily for that. But now that my skin's a little more normal to dry, I've gotten back into less drying mattifying just for every day if I'm not worried about it staying all day and I was like you know what I need to give this a try again and since this was only $16.99 I figured it would be worth it and it has the lavender I have not sprayed my face yet you definitely smell the lavender I just felt like it would be a nice kind of like spa refreshing kind of feeling. So this is going to be something that I just keep on my desk for when I film more than for when I'm actually setting my makeup to go. Next, jumping into this Cosmetics Company store bag. Y'all have said that you like to know the prices when I get a sale. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you. <laughs> we got some time for it in this one. So you girl spent a little money. But I was too excited. I went in just on a whim after work one day and they had a palette I had been looking for plus some other stuff. So I'm going to tell you all the story behind that. You got to be careful when you go to the cosmetics company store because sometimes they will have testers out and then they'll have the product behind it. And what's behind it is not always what's showing as the tester. So this right here, this is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad Cream in the shade Velour Khaki, number 38. 
I saw this one as a tester and I was like, oh my God, Tom Ford. And it's a green and it's dark and kind of grungy and I need to have this. I'm trying to take all this stuff out of here. Oh no, did I did? Yes, I did. I just drug the plastic on top of it. So this is what it looks like right here. This is so dark and grungy. And I love that they have this dark green right here. Then they kind of have this khaki green here. And then they have this kind of taupey brown shade. And then they have this light shade right here. So I do feel like I could get a complete look with this palette. But y'all know me and my greens. And I love Tom Ford. So had to pick this up. The problem is the tester was right there. But this palette was not so i just grabbed and then went ahead and checked out but i checked out with a different palette the palette that i checked out with is also an eye color quad cream so i thought it was the same thing but this one's actually number 39 violet santine instead of number 38. something told me to check i was halfway home and this place is an hour from me was halfway home when I noticed I had the wrong thing so I pulled over called the store asked them if they actually had the khaki one and they said they did so I was like can you please hold it I'm gonna turn around and come back I'm gonna show you this one because I guess I am keeping it and I think it is pretty but it's just not what I thought it was so this is what did I say it was violet santine so there is a super dark blackened purple here then this kind of purple, not mauve -y, but it's showing true. And then this kind of grayish purple, and then this light shade. So again, I can do a complete look with this, and I love purples. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. And it's already packed. All my Tom, Tom Ford stuff is already packed, so I have no idea. But it doesn't matter, because I can always resell it if I do. I picked this up during their 4th of July. I don't know when this video is going up, so y'all can clock me in the comments if you want. 4th of July sale. So these were, I think, 40% off plus an additional 15% off if you spent over $150. So I was pissed because I got the purple one, even though I wanted the green one. There was no tester out for the purple one. I probably would have got both of them. But I paid more buying one of them because I only bought that one thing and I didn't get the extra 15% off. So for the one, I paid $45.90 for the khaki one versus $38.25. I was so mad. I don't care if it's just $7. The whole thing that excites me is the fact that I'm getting it on sale and how much of a sale. So I stood there like, do I want to spend more money the sense that that makes. Do I want to spend more money so I can get 15% off or do I just suck up my losses and just get the one? I only got the one, but I was cursing and I was kind of like waiting to see if the guy was going to give it to me with the additional discount. He did not. But yeah, so just be aware and, you know, make sure look at everything that's on the counter, not just the testers, because they may have stuff that they don't have testers for that you actually want. I'm gonna swatch these for y'all real quick just because I haven't swatched these yet and they look so pretty. So this is the violet. Ooh, that purple kind of gray shade. It looks like, I would call that like a steel. These are all creams. So those are the four shades right there. Super pretty, cool toned. One two three ooh that's pretty and then four that almost looks kind of duochrome why would i put that on my bony hands like that so that's what those look like i'm trying to make sure y'all can see but those are gorgeous shades and i definitely could do one whole look with that so i always get excited about that because i feel like sometimes with my tom fords you got to pull from another palette just to be able to get a crease color or a better transition shade. And then I'm going to swatch the khaki one because this one I'm praying. I think I swatched the green in the store and that's what got me. So let's see. Oh, that is so pretty. Y'all know that's like my mantra when I start swatching and doing stuff. So pretty. Oh 
folded hands. Ooh, is that a matte? Huh, so that one's a matte. So this one was two shimmers and two mattes. This one is matte. Interesting. And then it looks like these all kind of have, well, no, this bottom one is a matte too. So that's what that looks like. So again, I feel like I could definitely get full looks out of these. So happy I got them both, just mad I spent that extra $7. Up next is the reason I was excited to begin with. I found the Tom Ford Forbidden Pink Eye Color Cream Quad. I think this was part of the rose prick like the newest collection that they had there were two quads but i only wanted this one and this was the only one they had in the store so i felt like it was meant to be look at how gorgeous y'all look at these shades i feel like that shade kind of looks like no never mind okay i stand corrected i was thinking maybe close to that one but no, like this is the perfect kind of neutral, burgundy, everyday. I cannot wait to swatch this one because I just felt like these colors, let's see which way we're going with this, were right up my alley for like an everyday. Oh, mm, that's showing up a lot lighter than I expected it to. Interesting. All right, so we'll do these here. So this I think is... You can barely see that one, and it doesn't help that I need to shave my arms. So that's that one. I didn't even swatch this, y'all. I just saw it in the pan and thought, this one is the one that I said was lighter than what I expected. That shade's gorgeous. So I love the color story in the pan, but it does look like it's going to take some work to get these colors to build up the way I want them to but i'm okay with that and i would probably pull a brown for a transition shade i just thought the overall aesthetic of this packaging matched with the the colors that are in here like it was just perfection i'm bringing this upstairs because i want to see if this is a palette that i can get some use out of regularly and i also only paid 38.75 for this one so I'm telling y'all, it still bothers me about that. And I know it was like two weeks ago and it still bothers me that I paid extra for that one. It's still cheaper than $90, which is how much they cost, but I would rather 38. So there's that. I'll live. I'm happy I have it. I'll be fine. Next, this was a free gift with purchase. This is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. Y'all, remember when Glam Glow first came out, everybody and their mama was all excited about the one in the white packaging that was the exfoliating or detoxifying or whatever it was. And then they started coming out, they had a black one and then they had this one. I feel like nobody talks about Glam Glow anymore. Is it just that it was like good for a moment, but all hyped up and it wasn't actually that good or what? Because it's still available and... They always have it in there, but this is the first time I've gotten it as a gift with purchase. So let's see exactly what is in here. Cause I think these used to just come in little tubs. Yeah, like this big old packaging for this little bitty thing. But I could probably try this because my skin has been feeling a little dehydrated, even though it's summer and I'm drinking my water. Sometimes I just feel like it's not enough. I also got this little Glam Glow Bright Eyes Mask. I've used this before and I like this. It's an illuminating, oh no, 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 no. This is not the mask, this is their eye cream. It's an illuminating anti-fatigue eye cream. I have also tried this before. It kind of reminds me of the Origins Ginseng Under Eye Cream. If y'all have used that before, this is very similar, except I think this is a little thicker and maybe a little more illuminating but they're about the same thing and they have a peachy shade to them. So nice to try. It has caffeine in it and that helps with depuffing. So that is always nice. I didn't know I got this. This is also a little sample of Mac Turquatic. I love this fragrance. I have a bottle. I also have a backup and now I have this. So this is gonna go in my travel bag. These were all free gifts. And then I also got this Clinique 
uh, Clinique Smart Clinical Multidimensional Age Transformer Moisturizer. It's a lot of words. Um, this one says that it's re-sculpting. Morpho technology. I don't know what all that means, but it's this one here in the purple bottle, purple jar. So if you have this and you've tried it, comment and let me know if you feel like it was good. They asked me if I wanted this or another one of their, um, what's it called? Nighttime eye serum. And I have like three or four of those. So I decided to just try the Estee Lauder I'm talking about. Um, I decided to just go ahead and try this instead of getting another Estee Lauder nighttime eye cream. All right, so now I'm gonna try to go down the list to make this easier. This was a splurge, this was a splurge. I am slowly expanding my Tom Ford fragrance collection and y'all know if you've been around for a while on my channel, I am not pro Tom Ford all fragrances. Some of them stink to me, absolute horrid. I smelled, I can say this on my channel, I smelled fucking fabulous and I fucking hated it. It smelled so bad and I was just like, I don't understand what the hype is about that one. But I have Santal Blush. I have, oh, I packed them all. I think I have Soleil Neige is one of my favorites. Rose Prick, Bitter Peach. I have quite a few of them and I like a lot of them. The ones that I have, I like. So... This one, I was trying to decide between this one and another rose one. I don't know. When I started liking rose, I don't remember. Maybe, oh, it was a Santal fragrance. It was a Santal fragrance and then a MFK fragrance that um, the salesperson tried to sell to me. And it was a rose one. And I was like, I like rose? Since when? So I smelled this one, y'all. I think I like the bottle. I know I like the bottle. It's clear. But it's just, I feel like Tom Ford packaging is so sexy and it always looks good out on your vanity. I need to spray this again because I sprayed it and I walked around the store for a little while because I'll be damned. <laughs> I already have something on. I'm spraying it on the side. I'll be damned if I walk around, if I just like blind buy a Tom Ford fragrance because they're too expensive. This was originally $375.00. Y'all, they had some big bottles in there, and some of them were in a black bottle. $2,000. And she was like, but it's half off plus 15%. Ma'am, I'm not spending $1,000 on no damn perfume. You cannot convince me that anything is worth it. Well, you can break it down into different bottles and smaller bottles, and it'll last. I don't care. $2,000 if you didn't get it on sale. They had some bottles that were clear and kind of looked like this, but bigger. And those were $1,000. So I don't know if the other ones are like an intense version, but who's not going to find out is me because no, not doing it. Anyway, this is Rose Damalfi. And this is the 100 ml bottle, $375. I got it for $159.38. Now, yes, I realize that that is still very expensive, but I have paid more than that for a fragrance that I really wanted that wasn't on sale. I bought Baccarat Rouge. So if I can get something for $375 that does not cost $375, I'm going to pull the trigger, especially if I really, really want it. And I, I love how this smells. So not mad about that one at all. While we're on Tom Ford, I have another duo. This is the Shade and Illuminate Contour Duo in the shade Intensity 3. So... Y'all saw in my most expensive face that I had Flicker. This, I think, is kind of, sort of, like Flicker, but in a cream. And this highlighter is not as gold. What is, why is this so balmy? Okay, I swatched this in the store, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember this being this wet. Like... That's wet. Okay, let's see. So we'll put this. This is the... I was about to say, that's not doing nothing. Do y'all see that? Oh, I guess you can. Okay, that's a little better. See what I'm saying? That's why when I did my video about... This is definitely dark enough. Like, you got to be careful with that because I got a feeling that can get real muddy real quick. So you got to be careful with that. But these two together, 
I think that can look very, very pretty. I'm going to have to be careful with this one. But I hadn't seen it before. And so y'all know me. If it's on sale and it's high end and I want to try it, I'm going to do that. So we will see how this works. Low key, high key. This bronzer scares me. That highlighter, I'm going to have to figure out how to put that on. Not, I don't have highlighter on right now. I don't. Let's figure it out. I feel like with a brush may not be the best way to do this as she picks up a brush oh wait <laughs> hold on did y'all see that that does not look like what i swatched okay yeah that's better that is definitely doing something and looking a lot better than what i swatched on my arm Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, now I'm not mad. Who am I that I didn't put highlighter on getting ready? What are you? Who are you and where's Barbara? That is so pretty. Okay, I shut my mouth. I ain't about to touch this bronzer, but that highlighter, yeah, this is definitely worth it. And just in case I didn't say, that was also $38.25 as well so all of these are originally ninety dollars the quads and that's i got those three for 38 why can't i get this right 38 25 and then the other one 40 <laughs> 45 90. okay so another little sample i got glam glow glow starter this is their mega illuminating moisturizer also tried that tried it when i had oily skin did not like it but i feel like it could be good now this is something that I bought. This is the Max Stack Mascara. This is the mini I decided to try. I feel like this got a lot of hype when it first came out and I didn't want to buy it full price and then I felt like I could never get it on sale. So I paid $6.80 for this. It's regularly $16. So I felt like that was worth it. Plus it's small, I have enough mascaras. I get to try it without paying the full price which I think is $30 for the regular size. But it says this one has infinite build volume and length. So exactly what I want in a mascara. Let's just see one day if it holds up to the claims. Next, I also picked up this Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer. Now I have the multi-use sculpting concealer. Butterscotch is the one that I normally use. I've also picked up one of the darker shades and I don't know. In my haul, I was like, why did I even get this shade? I think I got it for when I'm more tan, if I just want to like spot conceal on my face versus highlighting under my eyes. I don't know. But this I know was pretty inexpensive. It's regularly $26 and I got it for $11.05. I got this one in the shade Honey Graham. I do not think it is too bright. I hope not. Although I have lost my tan very quickly. So it might match me right now. But I swatched this in the store. That almost disappeared. You can see it. But yeah, it is pretty. Like I feel like this could be a good everyday shade. It almost has a slight cool tone to it so it looks like it has a little bit of pink versus the gold or olive undertone i hope y'all can see that i feel like there so i don't know interesting because i tried this has coconut water alpine rose and hyaluronic acid it says it's waterproof 24 hour wear sweat and humidity resistant non-creasing and delivers immediate and all-day moisture i'm trying this on tuesday when i go to the gym because you gonna say all that I'm gonna put it to the ultimate test and I will let y'all know if it's true or not. Let me know if you've tried this because I know the other one is more popular. I don't know if this is new or old or what. I'm gonna let this dry down and show you what it looks like, but we'll find out if it really does what it says. Next, I picked up a liner and this is the Too Faced 36 hour non-flaking transfer resistant total control waterproof eyeliner. I got this in the shade, why can I talk? In the shade Cashmere, Killer Cashmere. I think I get so excited during a haul that I'm just like trying to talk too fast. 
And so that's what happens. But this is the packaging. And this is what it looks like. This was, has to be super cheap. $9.77. And it's originally $23. I wanted a cream liner to put in my waterline. Perfect. To help brighten. But this one actually looks like an off-white. Is this a twist up? Damn. Nope. Um, it looks like an off-white versus a stark white, but I've been wanting to get back into using a liner on my inner waterline. Right now I have on a gold. I thought that would go better with this look. And for that price, I feel like it's worth it for a high-end one. I know you can get like LA Girl and I think that's the only one that I can remember. I know Flower Beauty has one. There are some drugstore ones. But when I'm in a store that has high-end stuff on discount, why would you not try a high-end one with a discount? So, been thinking about getting one of these. Here we go. I think this is the last thing from the cosmetics company store. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. Did I pay for this? I did not. This was also a free gift. I was like, I don't remember this. So this is originally $32. I got it for free. The Thirsty Mud Treatment was $30 I got for free. The Clinique Skincare Moisturizer was $74. Got that for free. So I got a lot of stuff that day. I guess I should stop fussing about that extra $7. I was right. I'm going to stop fussing about the $7. I didn't realize I got this for free too. So I guess they were trying to be nice to me, but I spent enough damn money, so they should. Next from Pat McGrath, I picked up the Divine Bronzes. Finally got them on sale. 40% off, could not wait. I paid $23 for these and I picked up two of them. I got the shades Burnished Honey and Bronze Divinity. Bronze Divinity was in Sephora and I felt like it was going to be too light. So I got that one because I think that's the one that the website said was best for my my skin tone based on the foundation shade that I wear. But y'all know me, I like my bronzers darker. So this is Burnished Honey here, which is what I'm wearing today. And I think this looks really good on me. I thought it was going to be too red, but I feel like it is a really, really good shade. And then this is the other, and I'll show you side by side. This is, what did I say? Bronze Divinity. So if you aren't sure, I feel like that is a pretty big difference in the shades. So it just really looks like this second one is not going to do anything for me. And then next thing you know, I put it on my skin and I see a little warmth. So this is the darker one. This is the lighter one. And can I find somewhere to swatch that you can see? So that's the lighter one there. So it actually does show up. And then that's the darker one there, which is more up my alley. So both of them work, but I used both. I used this one more around to blend my concealer and then the darker one more in my hairline and to set my cream contour with. I also picked up a lipstick because it's on sale. This, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but this is her, cannot unwrap this thing. It just says lipstick, really? Made in Italy? Lux Trance 431, She's So Deep. This is a super dark, deep brown, like absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, I need that in my life for the fall. Brown, plum, beautiful shade, love wearing a dark lip. So all my other ones, y'all know my pack colors are normally kind of pinkish. Definitely happy to have something that is completely on the opposite end of the spectrum. All right, so now let's jump into these nails because we have a lot of them. I have recently found, hold on. <laughs> I hate, give y'all a little story time. I hate getting pedicures. I am so ticklish. I don't like people playing with my feet. It is hard for me to get a foot massage. Like if you're gonna do it, put some pressure. Don't soft touch, I'm gonna kick you in the face. It is gonna happen. It is reflex. It is not intentional. I don't like it. So I do my own. I scrub my feet, I do my little filing, I do a clean around my cuticles, do all that stuff. But I have really small nail beds and my nails are really soft, toenails and fingernails. 
So I have seen for years that they have press on toenails and you can glue them on. And I was just like, that is so, so stupid. That is not going to stay. No way they're going to stay with tennis shoes on. Going to cut your socks, like all kind of crazy stuff, right? So impress. I found a box. I was like, I'm going to just try it. Six bucks, seven bucks. I don't have to sit and wait for my nails to paint. The paint to dry. Let's go ahead and see. These things stayed on for two weeks, almost three weeks what these are the ones with the little glue tabs that you just press on and go about your business i work out tennis shoes 90 percent of the time and these stayed on i was floored and then i stocked up <laughs> it is summertime and now i don't have to stress about painting my nails y'all say less so this is do they have names on them okay this is satisfied so this one is a lavender set. So it comes with the big toe that has like this kind of glitter finish to it. And then the other shades are lavender and they are just a matte. Cute. I'm going to try to go through these quick. Summer toes, summer nails. These are nails. This is the short length in Kingdom. Ulta had a sale 30% off on their Kiss nails. So yes, I racked up. And I know I have plenty of nails. But I will literally wear a pair for three days, pop them off because I need to go to the gym and then put another pair on. For six, seven dollars, I'm not spending 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 dollars to go get my nails done at the salon. I will never. I will always do my own and it's either going to be these or some glue ones. So super cute, natural set with this little marble design at the bottom. Nice little nude pink. I got two of these because I could not pass on this shade. This is the Glamnetic Press-On Nails in Berry Fizz. It's a short oval, but it's this iridescent pinky purple. So, so pretty. I don't know how they say these are reusable. Like you're supposed to be able, there you can kind of see the color. How you're supposed to be able to just like pop these off and reuse them. But it says how to remove and it says that's it. But it also says that you're supposed to be able to reuse these. And I just have never been able to reuse a press on. I usually like, by the time I'm done, the edges start wearing off and all that stuff. So they don't look that great anyway. But these were also 30% off. So I got two of this because I absolutely love this color. I picked up another same brand, but a different shade. This is the Unicorn Tears short oval so this is that kind of blue icy blue but it looks like i don't know if that's just the, i think that's just the packaging I, th I thought it was a french tip but it is not and i know the plastic you can see it right there i love these nails that have that iridescence to them because it is something that i can't paint and i don't want to wait for it to dry so love the ease of these this is another toenails this is in stargazing so gorgeous summer colors. It has an accent for the big toe, this kind of marble effect, and then this beautiful kind of berry fuchsia pink. Then we have a white. I got a white. I have painted my nails white before, so I feel like that's more kind of special occasion. I'm not a white nail girl. I'm just not. I know that's the thing. I don't care. I don't follow trends. I do what I want. I do what I think looks good on me, and I've always been that way. This is Moon Seed. Yes, Moon Seed. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Not quite a Tiffany blue, more like an aquamarine kind of teal situation, but really, really pretty. I'm trying to find the angle to hold it so y'all can see the colors. Because lights just don't do it justice. But yeah, super, super pretty. Then I got a pink, so it looks like the color of the box. This one is called Almost There. Gorgeous hot pink. This is such a cute shade. This is sweet as honey. Y'all, this is so pretty. This is not, this is like a neon orange. Like, I don't think the color is even picking up, but it is super, super bright. What else we got oh there's more okay so this is a duplicate of satisfied the first purple this is a duplicate of the coral orange can I get three of those Barbara <laughs> 
I'm telling y'all, listen, I've never felt so cute with my toes done. Like, I was touching everything with my foot wearing sandals when I had these on. This next one is in the shade Skydiver. It's a white and blue. So it has this kind of striped design on the accent toe, on the big toe, and then there's blue, and then there's silver. I thought I had white too, but no, it's just blue and silver. So this will be super cute. I should have wore these for the 4th of July, but I didn't. I'm trying to see if I have any more duplicates. This is another blue shade, but it's more of like a baby blue. That's what it's called, baby blue. So let me see another one. I'm hoping you can see the difference, kinda, a little bit, maybe. Uh, what else we got? This is, okay, these two are the same. These are Glacier Lake. So another one with the accent toe, big toe has the accent colors, and then this is a hot fuchsia pink. I hope these are showing up right. I feel like when I look at my monitor, you can't see it. Did I really? I swear I must have like duplicated. Y'all, I feel like I duplicated my order. Why did I do this? Apparently I like hot pink orange because there's four of those. I feel like I duplicated my order. <laughs> I would be ashamed. I have these on right now. That's why I'm like, where's my other box? I have these on. As we speak, I feel like there should be another one of those. There's another white. I must have placed two orders. There's no way. And then there's also another pink. Yeah, there's the fourth one. I really must have placed two orders. <laughs> They'll get worn. I don't care. They were 30% off and I had all my points too. So it's not like I spent a lot of money on it, but I just... Yeah, that's all of them, but that's a lot. I think I duplicated my order on these kiss nails. Anyway, I think that's it. <laughs> I hope that's it. That is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below and let me know, have you tried these press on toenails? I'm telling you, if you have not, and you have any kind of issues with feeling like your toenail beds are too small, your pinky toenail is too small, like put these on, I clip them down just to make sure they're not too long and they fit comfortably with my tennis shoes on, squatting, my deadlifts, like all of it. I have no issues. Let me know if you've tried them. Comment let me know out of the makeup if there's anything you want to see that you have already. Or if y'all want to let me know something else I need to try. You know, I'm always looking for a good reason to buy some more makeup. Thanks for what, sticking with me to the end of the video. If you are new, I hope you decided to join the family. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.